good morning happy monday again um i am sitting in the parking lot of the university health center this place is huge like my undergrad health center was nothing compared to this it was literally in the basement of a dormitory this is like its own building it's giant it's biggest doctor's office i've ever been to um but yeah i had to get a tuberculosis test because my internship for the fall requires me to get one to prove that i don't have tuberculosis so had to do that this morning and it was not as bad as i thought it was gonna be and um also i thought i was gonna pay, have to pay 75 dollars out of pocket but they asked me to provide my insurance before i went in to get my test and my insurance is through north carolina blue cross blue shield and like since I'm in Georgia, I I don't know. I'm not really sure that it will cover the entire test, but they told me that like basically they're gonna send over like the information to them and if they are able to cover it, I don't have to pay the $75 out of pocket, which I thought I was gonna have to do today. So that just kind of saved me. I mean, not really, like I was, I was expecting it. Oh, I just got a notification that my bed was delivered. Ah, oh, what a great day, okay. Um, anyway, to celebrate the fact that I don't have to pay $75 today, I am going to, first of all, Starbucks to treat myself to get a little treat for being a brave girl. And then also I am going to Target to get the comforter that I saw last week that I really liked because I've been thinking about it and I let it marinate and I think it's time to get it. So, and after that, all I'll need to get is a desk chair and then I'm, I'm good for furniture and everything. So, yeah, the tuberculosis test was not bad. My sister made it sound like I, like they were gonna put a needle in my arm and they were gonna like make a bubble. Like that was like what the tuberculosis test entailed, but they just like pricked a little bit of my skin and like literally that was it. And like, I don't know, I was like debating between a skin test and a blood test. Sorry, this is kind of gross, gruesome, but I do not do well with drawing blood. So I'm like, might as well just try the skin test. But I was really nervous about the bubble thing, but that did not happen. So we're calling it, we're chalking this up as a win this morning, okay? <laughs> Okay, I just got the comforter and sheets from Target ready to see. Okay, can you kind of see? It's like brown checkerboard. It's still giving farm girl, which is what I'm always going for. Like my quilt this year is like patterned, like red, green, yellow and blue and white and it's literally a farm girl quilt and i still wanted to go farm girl and all my furniture is brown my bed is brown and this is light brown and then i got these sheets for it they're a little floral and i think it's just gonna go so well i'm so excited also this comforter was originally 89 dollars and it was 20 percent off so i think i got it for like 68 which is such a steal and then also this morning when i was going to starbucks the parking spots right outside of Starbucks, there's literally only three of them because it's downtown, um, were coned off because they were doing construction or something. Um, and I was like, ugh, I had to park, like pay for parking far away and then walk and whatever. The parking spots in Athens, like when, when there's already money in the meter, it like flashes green. There's like meters in front of all the parking spots. So like after you get out of your car, you just like put in your card and you put in the time you want. And when it's green, that means there's time in it. And when it's red, that means there's not time in it. And I found a spot that was green already and I went out to look and there was 41 minutes left. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's so nice. I don't have to pay for parking. And then I walked to Starbucks. And so my go-to order at Starbucks recently has been a venti ice cinnamon dolce latte with three pumps of caramel with cinnamon dolce cold foam on top. Um, but I forgot to order it with the cold film. And so I was just like, hey, I'm so sorry. Can I please? Like I, I mobile ordered it and I don't really know how it got messed up because I, when I get mobile order for Starbucks, it's literally the same thing every time. So I don't really know how the cold film got removed from it. But anyway, I just explained the situation. She was like, oh yeah, no problem. And like, didn't make me pay for it. She put it in a Trenti cup and it's just been the best morning ever. And yeah, now I'm gonna go to Cammie's and drop off this stuff and see her for a bit. And then 
I allegedly have a meeting for my internship at 1. It's 11.40 right now. I don't really know. She emailed me and told me we we're going to meet today at 1, like a couple weeks ago. And I emailed her to confirm this morning, like where. And she hasn't answered. So I think, I think I'm going to call her and just like make sure that we're still meeting. So, but yeah, great morning so far. Can't complain. And I've basically got everything for my my house. I'm so happy. We're doing a little house tour because I am moving in here in less than three weeks. Moving in <laughs> so soon. What day is it? The 10th? The 10th I move in. Well, my lease starts the 25th. So that's like 15 two weeks. days. Almost two weeks from tomorrow. Yes, sir. Crazy. So this is where I keep my cleaning supplies. Nice. Now, because before there were some other items. In yeah. There. But but this is where the cleaning supplies are. Okay. Um, we got chicken on the stove for grilled chicken salad. When Gabby texted me that she was coming over, I was like, okay, so you be here for lunch? <laughs> <laughs> the leeches. Getting all of our antioxidants. Yes. Vitamins. Healthy fats. I'm maybe going to have some hot sauce, which is good for your metabolism. Yes. Put your brains out. Helping our eyesight. Obviously. <laughs> Broccoli. Because that's good. good for your bones. And it's something. a dark green, so that's oh, yeah. good for you. Oh, and cucumbers. Some extra water. Wait, Wait one second. Uh, I have to do this for the vlog. Okay. <laughs> because, <laughs> oh, they feel so nice. <laughs> How do I look? You look gorgeous. You look like you're in a spa. Wait, it feels so nice and cool. Oh, it's it kind of like sends a cooling sensation through your eyes. <laughs> Do you want to try it? No, okay. <laughs> so delicious. We made some fresh salads for lunch. Oh, you guys already knew that. Get that out of the video. <laughs> <laughs> Looks so good. So green. So healthy. Powerful. You want a colorful plate. Yeah. Everyone needs a colorful and plate. And the thing is, you are what you eat. And so we're eating mood boosting, energizing yeah. food and antioxidants. So, so we in turn will be full of energy in a good mood. So That's it's just so it's just true. it's just science. These are words of wisdom. Thank you. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> good morning. Or should I say good afternoon? Because I guess it's noon. I just got my drug screening done for my internship for the fall and easy peasy it was really quick in and out and so now all i have to do is get my tuberculosis test results which will be tomorrow and then i've done everything all my onboarding stuff for my internship and i'm feeling really good and really on top of things um it's so hot outside i have five and a half hours until work and i don't know i might run but it is literally so hot like so hot and I haven't really been doing a good job drinking water so I'm kind of nervous to walk but I feel like some movement could be good today but yeah we'll see what happens um but yeah so happy about the drug screening got a little Dunkin Donuts beforehand yeah okay I convinced myself to run but I realized that my Apple Watch charger, or my Apple Watch like fell off the charger. And so it's completely dead. And I really don't wanna wait for it to charge. So I'm just gonna, gonna, just gonna run. I know where the 1.5 mile mark is, like where the turnaround is. So I'm just gonna free ball it today. So really any pressure, just going on a little joy run. It's not as hot as it felt earlier. So hopefully today it's like, there's this little breeze going. And I also gulped down a whole cup of water before this. So, palms away. <laughs> okay, this run turned into a run walk very quickly. I'm not, thirsty per se but I didn't eat oh, hang on there's a guy anyway there's a guy I only had a little mini bagels from Star or not Starbucks Duncan this morning and quite frankly your body just needs more than mini bagels if you're gonna run it 2 p.m. in the afternoon in the summer so I'm just listening to my body today even though I haven't run in a long time and I kind of just wanted to get a run in I did I ran a little over a mile and a half 
but I'm just gonna walk back. So when I started walking, I got an email from my supervisor saying she wants me to do this thing by today. <laughs> and I work at 5.30, it's, like I said, two right now. So I'm like, okay, I am, I don't need to stress myself out. I need to eat, I need a shower, and then I'm just gonna sit and do my work and to work tonight with a full belly. Ladies and gentlemen, please take care of yourselves this summer. Don't not eat because you don't feel like it. Eat because your body needs to eat. And then you'll have energy to do the things you need to do and you won't feel overwhelmed and your emotions will be in check and whatever. Okay. Okay. This is what I'm having for lunch. Barbecue chicken pizza from Trader Joe's. She thinks my track is sexy. It really turns around. I just logged on to my desktop computer to work on the assignment that my supervisor gave me to do. And the last thing that pulled up was my last assignment that I had to do for my for grad school, like for last semester. This is the thing that came up. This is the last time I was on this computer. <laughs> no! We love you, Jessica. Yay! Love you, Jess. <laughs> yes. Oh my. <laughs> you do do a mean worm. Oh. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> we are scooping salt out of this thing. Sometimes the managers make us do random things while they don't make anyone else do random things. And we are scooping the salt on our table. Yep. I love my 213 hour. Love my 213 hour. Hello, hello. Happy Wednesday. I kind of have a really busy day today. I had a meeting for my internship this morning and right now I'm about to go to a CVS and pick up a prescription. And then I have another meeting for my internship at 12.30, it's 11 now. And then right after my meeting at 12.30, I have to go back to the UGA Health Center for them to read me off my tuberculosis test results. Guess who's tuberculosis free? Um, so then I can send that over to my internship for the fall. And then I have work at 3.45, so I've got a lot going on today. But yeah, this is how I like it. I don't know, I just like, every time I have meetings for my internship, I always joke that I have to use my brain, which, cause like this whole summer, I have been at Cheddar's pretty much. And like the only thing I need to use my brain for is like, do you want your grilled white fish blackened or lemon pepper? Like, I'm just asking very repetitive questions. Whereas, like, these meetings, I have to, like, pay attention and take notes for, like, things that I have to then, like, do. And, I don't know, like, yesterday, Jane Ann was at Cheddar's and, like, I, like, said something to her as I was coming in and one of the bartenders was like oh like how do you know her like you just trained her a lot and I was like no like she's in my master's program and like just saying master's program I'm like am I in a master's program like I don't feel like I'm utilizing any part of my brain at all but we'll get back there we'll we'll start warming up you know the neurons and the synapses and everything here shortly but yeah should be a good day today though gonna let y'all be the witness this is the list of things I had to provide for my internship starting in the fall I had to purchase professional liability which was $42 transcript two letters of recommendations I had to update my measles mumps all those immunization forms and then COVID card CPR certification which thankfully I had from last year and then my resume the last thing I needed was my tuberculosis test, which I'm about to cross off. Oh my goodness, so satisfying. Literally, this has been, sorry, two, 
two months in the making since May 4th. So, so thankful to have this done. It dawned on me that I have not really talked about where I'm interning in the fall. Um, so I'm interning at this inpatient psych facility called Summit Ridge, which is in Lawrenceville, Georgia. And yeah, they have a bunch of different units. I pull out my little notebook from my interview with them, but they have an adolescent unit, an addiction unit, a schizophrenia unit, and then a higher functioning unit, which is like individuals with bipolar, and then they have a geriatric unit. And from what I understand, I'm the only intern for the fall or for next year for the fall and spring. And so um, my supervisor who I interviewed with told me that I'd be getting experience with all five of those units, which is so exciting. But yeah, onboarding process for just like a hospital in general is always just super tedious, just from like my sister working in a hospital and my cousin and everything. I know it's just like long and there's like a lot of just onboarding forms that they need. So I'm really thankful to have that done a month out. And I think the next thing I need to do for them isn't until August, which is they're having me do a three-day de-escalation training just for safety reasons. So yeah, I'm really excited to get started though. Hi. We just parked. Where are we? We're going to see Wicked. In downtown. Atlanta. Downtown. Atlanta. Atlanta. So fun. Broadway in Atlanta. We are matching, in fact. We brown are. shoes, black dresses. Unplanned. But yeah. Gabby did warn me because I told her I was wearing this dress. I cannot walk as fast as you. Oh, I'm sorry. Heels. Okay. I was just trying I'm to breathe. heels. We're not late by any means. We're, we're not just, late. We're I'm just okay. an anxious person. And my yep. hair is sticking to and we don't, cool. And we don't have our tickets yet. So. Yeah. But Cammy found us tickets for $30. Oh, oh, I do have my student ID. Okay. Right. So I found this deal where... Two hours before the show, like once everyone has got their tickets, like pre-sale, any remaining tickets are sold to college students for three dollars. And we are back college. That was kind of rude. We are college students. Okay, so. can we stop? Okay, I'm getting kind of anxious. I want to cross the street. Okay, see ya. Got a ticket. It's okay. It's for the vlog. Pre-show meal. Oh my gosh. That's a bite. Cammy's a health queen. I am not. <laughs> Wicked! I'm going to cry. These are our seats. We are so close to stage. I'm going to cry. I know, I hope you do. I can't believe we got these for $30. $30. Literally easy. All you have to do is be a student. So easy to do. Stay in school. Just go to school. Stay, stay in, in school. school. Good reason to stay in school because you can go to see Wicked for thirty dollars. Exactly. On Broadway. a wag little babysitting moment and this is Bodhi and he's very scared but he's making progress and it's 9 a.m. and I work a double today tomorrow and Sunday so what a great way to kick off the weekend petting a little puppy puppy he's okay he's doing so good yeah good boy good boy Okay, well, I'm going to end the vlog here since I work all weekend. Wicked was literally so fun. I have been on such a high from seeing the show with Cammie and just like talking about The Wizard of Oz and like the backstory and just all of it. It was just so fun and such a good experience, but yeah. Okay, bye.